Well, Laura, three weeks from now, our city will be buzzing as football fans flood to Cleveland for this year's NFL draft. All the fun starts three weeks from yesterday. It will go Thursday, Friday, Saturday of that week, ending on May 1st. Progress has been underway for the past few days, building out the main stage. That's near First Energy Stadium. Brandon Simmons is our tech expert. And tonight, he has a nice and easy tutorial as to what we need to do to lock down those very hard-to-get tickets for the public events. Just behind First Energy Stadium, the NFL's draft theater is quickly taking shape. The 90-foot-high arches that will encompass the main stage show the size of this three-week build-out. Hundreds of workers on site are working to make sure Cleveland's draft day will be one to remember. And the only thing moving quicker than construction are the tickets for the fan experience itself. If you want to be part of draft weekend, now is the time. And you can go ahead and reserve a spot today. So um, that would be for the NFL draft fan experience, which will encompass everything from First Energy Stadium all the way to the Rock Hall. First up, head to the App Store and download the NFL One Pass app. You'll be prompted to create an account if you don't have one already. Once you log in, you'll find a schedule of events that make up the NFL fan experience. This doesn't include access to events happening at the main stage, but there will be video monitors available to see what's happening. The first two days are already sold out, and just hours ago, there were still some spots available on the final day, Saturday, May 1st. There, there will be opportunities to get on the field at First Energy Stadium. There will be all kinds of activations. It's a theme park, essentially. Once inside, events will be similar to what we saw in Tampa during the Super Bowl. Plenty of activities with social distancing and other safety protocols in place, too. It'll be a unique experience that we're lucky to have here in Cleveland this year. So don't wait to score your ticket. Now, Jay, again, remember this entire area is going to be closed off, as he said, from the west end of First Energy Stadium all the way to the Rock Hall. There will only be two entrances at the corners where you have to have that one pass app open and ready to go in order to get inside. So, again, I don't know that there's a, a capacity limit, so to speak, for the outdoor portion. They haven't decided that just yet. So there's a chance more tickets could go on sale, but that's something that you don't want to count on. You want to get them now while they are still available, albeit very few. Yeah, whatever's left, you better act fast because they're not going to last for long. Brandon, last year, of course, the draft was supposed to be in Las Vegas. That was canceled, and the draft essentially ended up ha happening from the commissioner's basement. Um, two years ago, Nashville saw 500,000 visitors to its city. <laughs> Do Cleveland officials yeah. have any idea as to what they should expect in terms of number of visitors that weekend? Well, that weekend, it's it's going to be a tough estimate because this is new for everybody. But they did stress uh, right. at that media event a couple of days ago that this would be a scaled down event. They said, don't expect to see anything like Nashville because we do have to have those health safety protocols in place. So it's going to be scaled back, but still they're expecting it to still be a huge fanfare here and a lot of excitement because really this is sort of the reopening to summer in their eyes. So they're looking forward to everything that's going to be happening here along the lakefront. And many fans are as well. Brandon Simmons live tonight on What's New, Brandon. Thanks.